Good morning, youth. Welcome to Sunday, the 29th of November. I have got a bit of a challenge for you this week, and I wonder if you are going to be able to do something similar to what I've done, but I reckon so, so much better. So my challenge is God every day. And what I want you to do is for every day this week, I want you to make a note or a video blog or take a picture which shows God in your every day. So I'm going to give you an example of how I've seen God in my every day over the last week with some Bible verses, with some pictures and with some ideas. And I just know that you guys are going to blow me out of the water because I've prepared this in the shortest time ever. And I know that you guys are going to have such much better ideas. And the thing is, is that if you do like a really great job with it, I wonder if you will give me permission to share it with the rest of the youth. I think it would be such a really cool thing to do. So have a think about it and think about how you can do it and just do a really like short thing if you're doing the video every day and we'll see how we go because I just want you guys to know God not just on Sundays, not just on Thursdays when we meet in Connect Group, but I want you to know him in your life every single day because that is what a life in Christ is all about. So let me tell you a little bit about my last week just to give you an idea. So on Sunday last week, I preached and I found I was feeling really distracted with it. Um, it was really difficult preaching to an almost empty room. And I just felt like I didn't come across very well at all. So that was my Sunday. So I was doing work for God on Sunday. I felt like I didn't do all that well, but I also knew how much he loved me on the Monday. I spoke with my mum who had watched my sermon. Now, I couldn't really, I didn't really want to watch it back because I was a bit like, oh dear, I don't think it's going to be that good, even though I know God loves me anyway, okay? And my mum was just like, Linz, I don't think you realise it was really good. And I was like, no, I don't think it was. I felt really distracted. I felt like it didn't go very well. And she was like, no, it came across so well. And I received so many messages of encouragement from people saying how good it was. So it reminded me of this verse on Monday. This is something that my friend Jen made for me. And it says, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And I believe that what happened was that on that Sunday, God was just displaying how that verse is so true that I was feeling so weak. I was not able to concentrate properly. I was not able to put my words across as well as I would have wanted to. But God still used me and he transformed what I did into something really strong. And that just shows the power of God in what we do. So praise God for that. So that was the feedback on Monday. So that was really cool. Tuesday was a day we are having a bit of a transformation at the church and we are arranging the offices differently and stuff. So it was day for me to clear out my office. Now, if you guys were there on the Thursday or you've seen the newsletter since, you know that I am stepping down from taking the lead of the youth because Jenny, amazing Jenny, is taking over. But I will still be involved and I will still see you guys. Um, so it was a bit of an end of an era for me. And what I found again about encouragement just shows how in, how important encouragement is. When I was packing my office down, I had all these messages on my pin board from parents, from young people who had really, really encouraged me over my years as leading the youth. And I just want to encourage you that why don't you send messages to people and just encourage them every day? Why don't you use one of your days to be an encouragement to other people? But I found that so encouraging because as packing down an office feels a bit sad, a bit of an end of an era. But the words from people of God really, really encouraged my heart. So that was where I saw God on Tuesday. Wednesday, I received a message um, late in the evening from one of my neighbours who is pregnant and she was, I think, two months early and her water's broke and she was feeling quite scared, I think. And she'd messaged me um, and I was able to send her a prayer voice note, just lifting her and the baby and her partner up to Jesus. And she doesn't believe in God or if she believes in God, she's not she's not yet a Christian, but I really hope she will be one day because she's such a fabulous, fabulous woman. And she was really, really encouraged. And she came back and just said, I'm so grateful to have you as a friend and a neighbour. And I just knew that it was because I was able to 
On her behalf, pray for her and it meant so much to her in a time. So I wonder if in your week of challenge, whether you might see a day when you can really pray for somebody or you could even send a voice note prayer like I did to somebody to really lift them up. Maybe you'll see a friend or a family member who's going through something hard and you can do that as one of your challenge days during the week. Okay, Thursday, I had a day of training, and I think training is all part of the life as a Christian. We go through years and years and years of just growing in Jesus, and that's so exciting for me. I love changing and getting like to know Jesus better, for him to iron out some of my issues and for things to get better with Jesus. And this Mission 24 day was really good. And we were talking about being filled with the Holy Spirit. We were talking about prophecy. We were talking about loads of really, really good God stuff. Um, and there was a time when during the prophecy, we were on Zoom. So you've got all the squares all over the screen. And they said, right, look at a person. And just if God draws you to someone, ask God for a word for that person. Well, I looked all over the screen and I got drawn to a certain person, but I just didn't get any word for them. So I was like, oh, well, maybe it's not me today. But... I kind of had a feeling someone might have something for me, but they didn't. But never mind. OK, it doesn't matter. Like it's a little bit disappointing, but it doesn't matter. But what happened after that day was I had the Youth Connect group to lead in the evening. So hello to you guys who were there. Um, and I decided to relay the teaching I'd received that day to you guys about receiving the Holy Spirit and what was really really exciting and I just love God so much he's so so good to us was that over Zoom one of the young people said yes I want to receive the Holy Spirit if you're watching you know who you are if you were there you know who it was and it was so exciting so as we all the rest of us we prayed for this person and as we prayed for them they had their hands open and they you could just see them start to beam and you could see that the Holy Spirit had come upon them. And because it says promises in the Bible, it says the Holy Spirit is a promised gift for all believers. And we just talked about it doesn't matter what age you are. Like you guys, you are all if you believe Jesus is your savior, you can be filled, baptized in the Holy Spirit and in the Bible, it shows the evidence of that is people speaking in tongues. So we said to the person, I was like, right now, you are going to start speaking in tongues. And Will, who was the other youth leader and I were on the call and we started speaking in tongues. And this guy just started speaking in tongues the first time over Zoom. It was so exciting because what God says in his Bible is true. So that was my Thursday of really seeing God at work. And it was really, really exciting. And I'm always even more excited when God works in young people, because sometimes I get a feeling that some young people, some teenagers think, oh maybe I'm too young for God to work in me and it's like no way blow that out of the water because God can do it with you guys so it's really cool if you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit let one of us youth leaders know why don't we pray for you as well and see what the same thing that happened to this guy happened to you it was really really cool so that was really good Friday this day was actually really cool um you know what I said about how I was like oh I think feel like God's going to give me a prophecy and nothing came the day before. Well, on our group WhatsApp chat from the training day, one of the guys messaged and said, Linz, I felt like I had a prophecy for you, but I didn't say it because I wasn't sure. But here it is. Now, let me just give you a backstory. I have I've been asking God to enlarge my heart. I believe that if he enlarges my heart, I'm going to have more joy in my life. I believe that I am going to have more compassion for other people and that when I go out and evangelise to people, I will have more love for them. I'll have more of God's love for them. And I've been asking God for this for a long time. And it happened, I've actually got the piece of paper here, that God gave me all of these um, Bible verses about enlarging my heart. And it's like, when the Lord your God enlarges your territories is promised you, I'll run in the way of your commandments when you enlarge my heart, if you set my heart free. It talks about giving joy back. Um, it talks about, where was the other one? Enlarge the place of your tent, don't hold back. I would enlarge your borders, I would enlarge your heart. And it's all about this enlarging your heart stuff. And so God gave me that word through his word a few weeks ago and I was really like yes this is awesome I can't wait to see God do it but I've been like waiting 
and praying. I don't know about you guys, if you're waiting for something, you're waiting and praying. And I've been like, when's it going to happen? Well, on Friday, this guy messaged about the prophecy and he said, Linz, I just felt that God is going to enlarge your heart. And he had no idea that I've been praying for this. He had no idea about the Bible verses that God has given me. How amazing is God that he gives somebody and somebody listens so well to hear the exact thing I've been praying for. So I am so grateful to God. And maybe one of your days in this challenge can be trying to find something that you're really grateful to God for on one of those days. So, yes, the prophecy that came. I'm so excited for that one for Friday. And then on Saturday, strangely, two things for Saturday. I'm cheating for this day. In my um, Bible devotion for day 332, which was actually that was the day of the year on Saturday, in case you were wondering. It literally talks about this. It says how the love of Christ expands a man's heart. And it was a real confirmation again that God is doing this thing in me. I'm so excited. And it's just so like, oh, anyway, so that was the first little one. And the second one was that I went to the beach that day with a friend and we both love Jesus. And we were talking about him and we were talking about what he's doing in our lives all day. And it was a really blessed day. But then God just painted the sky. And let me show you a picture. I'll try and get the picture up off this video if I can. But if not, I'll show you. This doesn't really give it justice, but this was the this was what it looked like off of Worthing Pier for us on that day. It was absolutely beautiful, so pink in the sky. And so that maybe that's one thing you can do in your challenge is find one day. So that was my Saturday where God in nature, let's maybe take a picture so you can show us where you saw God in nature. I think him painting the sky like that is just such a beautiful thing. So I can't wait to see what your weeks of God looks like. It can just be really, really quick and really short or pictures or texts or whatever it is. But I'd love to see your God every day, weeks blog or video blog or whatever you want to do. And it'll be really cool to see it. So let me just pray for you before I go and then wish you a happy Sunday and we will see you soon. So, Father, thank you that you are in our lives every single day. I pray that you would help everyone watching that they could see you every single day, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that they would see you in every single one of their days and that we would get some amazing accounts of what you're doing in people's lives. Thank you so much, Jesus. Bless them all. Amen. See you soon, guys. Bye bye.